again. This video will cover our lab for the week, Beer's Law. This exercise will be using the LabQuest and a spectrophotometer once again. So, if you need a refresher on the use of this instrument, please refer to last week's video. In general, remember that you need to wash the cuvette between usages, and you also need to make sure that if you've got a sample in the spectrophotometer, that you don't move it around. The absolute worst thing you could do is spill any liquids in it. And we have to take it all apart, and you don't want us to do that. We'll be very unhappy. So, in terms of the chemicals we'll be using this week, we'll be dealing with potassium permanganate. While it's relatively safe, it will stain everything. So you don't want to get it on you or on your possessions because it will stain paper, skin, clothing, everything. And there's no way you can hide it. It's such a unique and bright purple that you can't hide it. It'll be like a kid caught with your hand in the cookie jar, but it's okay. So just be careful. Minimize your spills, minimize your incidents, and if you do spill any chemical, let us know. And, since we'll be dealing with chemicals, as always, remember, gloves, goggles, appropriate dress, good shoes, all of that stuff. So, let's head over to the whiteboard just for a second to cover some more topics. In the first part of our exercise, we'll simply just be optimizing which wavelength we'll be working at for the rest of the exercise. Basically, what we're just trying to do is see which of our possible wavelengths has the strongest absorbance that will give us the best data to work with. Then we'll move on and see the absorbance at this wavelength at various concentrations and we'll establish a standard curve. The standard curve is useful for going back and being able to figure out the concentrations of unknown solutions. So, when we get our data, we'll want to have the absorbance, abbreviated ABS, on the y-axis and our concentration on the x-axis. So, what you'll want to do is just draw a basic trend line. We'll want to make sure we start at the origin, 0, 0, and have it go through as many lines as possible. So, it'll look something like this. Now, whenever you do this by hand on your uh, report, you want to get another sheet of paper out and just hold it so you have a straight edge and you can just draw right along it. But, you could sort of see here where we've actually got more data graph than we have points. And we'll do this mathematically as well with Beer's Law, but we could get a coarse estimation of a concentration of an unknown simply by just looking at our graph. So let's say we have an unknown that has an absorbance of y, whatever this random thing might be. We just go straight out until we hit the line, and then we go straight down. We can see this concentration is x. It's that simple. Beer's Law itself is rather simple mathematically as well. You could view our other videos on this and get a better idea there, or just ask your TA. They're always there to help you. 